Hello, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to change a fuel filter on my Peterbilt. It's quite simple. There's a few little nuances that Packard seems to do with the frame, it's things that are on the frame that are in the way when you take it off, but it's pretty simple. First thing you will need is the fuel filter wrench. And I had to cut this divot out because you can go in, this screw, the bolt right there, comes off the frame, gets in the way. So obviously, just using this bucket is what I have in there here right now to drain everything out of it because you obviously don't want to get it all over the floor. But you take these off, the clips, which my clips, whew, a little rough. That one needs to be replaced. I had to buy a new one of those. And then this little, what are they called, peacock? <laughs> is how And you let it drain. And no, I'm not going to reuse this at all. And what happens, especially during the winter, even I got added on this and it just tends to wax, the fuel waxes when it gets super cold. And this truck does terrible with these things anyway. I'm changing them probably once every 10,000 miles or I'd say 7,000. It's actually my last one, so I'm going to have to pick these up. Thankfully, they're only like 26 bucks, so still a pain in the butt. It's usually when I get fuel in West Texas, too. At times, I don't know, the fuel is crappy. But I'm up in Iowa right now, and it's freezing, snow all over. But I'm going to show you what it looks like when it gets done. And then, obviously, so you don't have to worry about it dripping more. Just close that. It's empty so then goodness. It's not a And then once you get it to a certain point, you should be able to get it off with your hand. See how black that is? Terrible. Terrible, terrible. And you want to take out the old gasket if I can. Sorry about that, I was ill prepared. Get that out. And typically, you pour diesel back in it. But this thing has an automated primer, so 
not I'm too concerned about that. And you do want to get this. Put some diesel back on it so it just doesn't get caught like jammed up and it's easy when you spin it back on. And you'll there's like like a little rim around there that it fits right back in. need to use this I'm just gonna give it one more Maybe. All right. that's about as tight as you need to get it you don't want to get it too tight man and now get these off Just keep starting it, and it starts self priming, and it will fill itself up with fuel. Or it should. And that, my friends, is how simple it is to change a fuel filter in a 2019 Peterbilt 389.